My name is Annika Lang and I am a professor of mathematics. I started here as a lecturer in October 2013, so I've been here for more than 10 years now. I studied an uh, integrated program in mathematics and computer science um, at the University of Mannheim in Germany. I uh, wrote my thesis at the Institute for Quantum Computing at the University of Waterloo in Canada. And uh, later on I was, did a PhD in Mannheim and then continued with a postdoc at ETH in Zurich in Switzerland. Originally, this wasn't clear that I would do a career in mathematics. Um, I wanted to build bridges, so I wanted to become a civil engineer. But after an internship in, uh, in a company where they took care of houses, I realized that this was not what I was interested in because they had software to do all the computations and uh, just put in numbers and got out numbers. And therefore I decided, no, I have to be the one who makes the software. I start often with some application and then I want to understand what is the mathematics behind this? Why does it work? How can we compute things? And uh, then you very often realize that the mathematics is not there. Nobody has proven the things you need to go into the application. And that's what's fascinating me. The best thing of mathematics. Um, I think it's the beauty of mathematics that it's so simple, it has so simple structures that you can base things on really small or basic assumptions. You know in the end it's true or it's false. Um, you have the logic and the power of mathematical logic I think is very good. For me mathematics is something which is really in pictures. Many people would say mathematics is so abstract, but I see mathematics really in pictures. What all of my mathematics has in common is that there is uncertainty or randomness involved. And I want to efficiently compute things. So it's something which combines randomness, uncertainties and um, computations. You usually have a feeling for something. So you feel <laughs> that the math should be there or not, and then you want to prove it. Sometimes you need to disconnect also from that. Because if you're too emotional and it doesn't work, you shouldn't get too sad. And that's a long process you have to learn during your career. I have discussed a lot with colleagues. What is it? These dis disappointments and success and so on. It's the success which makes you continue. And it's just to learn over the years that the disappointments are not so bad. And it will get better soon. So in some sense, you just get used to it. That's at least the conclusion I had with colleagues about this. I'm not aiming for one of the big mathematical problems. I'm aiming at realistic problems, which I can solve. And um, for these, I think I'm aiming at solving problems and delivering things which can be used in applications later on, which might be useful for humankind. So I'm a bit the person who not just wants to do mathematics for the beauty of mathematics, but even to have something which can be of use later on. So I have two children and I never told them that I'm a professor. So I'm just, I said, I go to the university, I teach students, so they didn't know about it. And then at some point they started to play professor at home. And it was very important that they made themselves uh, glasses and behaved like an old guy. And I have to admit, I was shocked at that moment what the image of a professor is, what my children think. And then at some point I had to tell them what my profession is. But I think they learned that it's not just old guys with glasses. <laughs>